Hey guys, welcome to my home. <laughs> I have been so, so excited to make this video for you guys because as you guys probably know, I have recently embarked on this very, very new, exciting journey in my life with my boyfriend Chi. We have finally moved into our first apartment together. And so the whole process of decorating the place and procuring all the items has been incredibly fun. And I can't wait to show you guys everything that we have picked. So come on in. Okay, so when you first step in, on the right side is the kitchen. As you can see, it's this kind of fake open concept kitchen, which I really love because it lets in a lot of light. But also, it has this sliding door if you do cook. I don't, but it's nice to have, just in case. Anyway, come on in. I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite parts of the house, which is the bomb shelter, which has all my shoes. <laughs> You can, you can probably imagine when we first came in here, it was just like, it was literally a mess. Um, but we managed to get this IKEA wardrobe in here to put all of my shoes. I did have this shoe cabinet in my old room, which was nice, and I really liked how everything was all really neatly put together rather than in boxes. There are some stuff in boxes anyway. I know some people don't really like having a bomb shelter, but I think it is like such a good use of space because I mean, everything is just hidden away and I get to store all of my crap in here, so yeah. These shelves I actually got off Shopee. I know there are more expensive, more sturdy shelves out there, but since this, this apartment is just a rental, we decided not to splurge on our storeroom shelves. And plus, I mean, I don't really have that much heavy stuff anyway, so yeah. Oh, I do want to show you guys this though. This is a vacuum that I bought off Shopee. Looks like a Dyson. But it's not, it's an AirBot, it was $80 and it was great, so highly recommend. One of the main uh, themes of the house was to be able to get stuff that could be used in multiple ways just to make our lives a little bit easier. And so one thing that I was excited to show my family was this dish rack. Doesn't seem like it's anything crazy, but it actually extends and fits over the sink so it can dry over this way instead of pooling water this way. Oh, wow, exciting. I'm an adult now, guys. This is what excites me. <laughs> right here, this is a Ninja Foodie. This is super cool. It's an 11-in-1 multi-cooker, so it can do 11 functions, which just blows my mind. I am really not a good chef, or not, I can't, I really can't cook. So I needed something that was really, really simple, and when I found this, I was like, okay, I really, really have to have it. Basically, this one can do pressure cook, steam, slow cook, yogurt, uh, it can make yogurt. Can you believe that? Oh my god. Uh, sear, saute, sous vide, air, air fry, bake, everything that you could possibly need to do in the kitchen, you can do it with this one machine. It's super cool. It's actually got two different lids that you can use. So this is the dry cooking lid. So it's like the air fry, the baking, and this is the wet cooking lid, which is like the pressure cooking and the steamer and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, clearly I haven't used it yet, but I will use it one of these days and let you guys know how it goes. On the opposite side, this is kind of like our fake kitchen island, which honestly is great. Like I said, there's a lot of light that comes in here. I got my Nespresso machine. I have this really cool German stainless steel knife set that I got from Iyuga. It looks nice, but also if you listen, wait, you can you come closer and listen? And over here, I've got my handy dandy soda stream. You guys know I love my sparkling water. And uh, it's great because you can also re-sparkle other drinks that have gone flat. I don't even know if that's allowed, but I do it anyway. But anyway, this is such a good buy. And finally, this is basically the first thing I always offer all of the guests that come in here. I always offer them water because, you know, Singapore is super, super hot, obviously. And it's great to have a water filter. This one is the Wish from Hydroflux, and it's really cool actually. First of all, it looks super sleek. It's got five different water temperatures, and it has like all these different, different buttons on it, but what's really cool is that it is also a Bluetooth speaker. And when you dispense water, it can make music. All right, so there's different music to choose from, and Chi, my boyfriend, is the one that picked this, so basically you put your thing in, 
and it plays EDM music. <laughs> No, right, it's freaking hilarious. There's other <laughs> other sounds that you can choose from as well, which is cool. So I'm gonna change it right now because that is way too way too intense for 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh nice, nature sounds. Yeah. So what is great about this also is that there is, I think it's like six steps of filtration and it only uses one filter, which makes it a lot easier when you have to change it out. And it also has this smart sterilization feature, which is great. Anyway, water for one of you guys. Thank you. The Hydroflux Wish actually also comes in alkaline and non-alkaline options, which I think is a really cool addition to you know what you can choose. And also it has this little nozzle here, which is great for when you have tall water bottles, like all of my water bottles, so it's just perfect. Okay, so another thing I wanted to show you guys, which is such a, I, I never thought this would be something that would excite me, but I actually went on 42 and I created my own dishware set. <laughs> so adult. But anyway, I really, really love it. So here it is. I really, really love this pattern. It's got this like oriental feel to it, but also when it's with everything else, it is still, you know, really modern and nice. And um, yeah, that's who I am now excited about dishes. When you enter the door, the first thing that you guys would be able to sit on is actually this entryway bench. This is a shoe cabinet bench. Again, you know, Chi and I were really looking for stuff that's multifunctional and we loved this. I think Chi loved this a little bit more than I did because he absolutely had to have it. But it's cool, you know, it's got stuff that you can store inside, you can put shoes inside. Not as many as in the storeroom, but no problem, these are basically just the ones that we use every single day. So, this is actually a game changer. It's so much easier than just putting on your shoes like when you're standing. First thing on the left is our little pet, our robot vacuum. <laughs> if you guys don't have a robot vacuum, it is the best. I feel like everyone has one nowadays. This one is actually the Roid Me robot vacuum mop. What's cool about this one and why we really really wanted it was because it actually auto extracts the dust from the dustbin and puts it into this dust bag right here. So I don't actually have to take out the dustbin after every single time it goes around the house. It just does that automatically and I can change out that bag like once every three months which is great. I am lazy. I like that. Over here this is the dining area. Now, this table, I am super, super in love with it. This one is from Hit Van. It is so, so gorgeous because of the herringbone design. It's also in this like really dark brown finish, which I really, really loved. And I remember seeing this when, when Chi and I went to the Hit Van showroom, and I was like, you know, if we don't get this for our current place, then can we please get it for our next place? Because I just love it so much. I think it looks so, so nice. It's such a statement piece. Um, on the wall right there, we actually did these paintings ourselves at this art studio, this art jamming studio called Motion Art Space. It's actually really cool. So if you guys are looking for like date night ideas or just stuff to do with your family and friends, something that's a little bit more wholesome and artistic, you guys should check them out because we went there and we spent a good two hours just painting this, which is, it was actually honestly super fun. Basically you put your, um, you put your canvases on this like spinny thing and then you can throw uh, like little bottles or throw like I don't know, boxes of paint to kind of splash around and while it spins it creates this really nice parabolic shapes. Um, over here though, this does have a bit of a story, our box actually fell on our painting. I don't know, our friends say that they don't notice it until we point it out but for me it's super obvious so maybe it's just my perfectionist tendencies coming through but yeah, I still like the story, so there's that, our little piece of art on the wall. Over here we've got a matching bench, which I really love because I have a really big family and so whenever we invited them over for dinner, we wanted to make sure that our dining table was big enough to be able to host everyone. So I think you can actually fit eight people on this, but I'm not sure, we might need to pull it out a little bit, but for now, everyone has been fitting on the table. All nice. Over here is our full length mirror. It was really important to me to have a full length mirror, near, especially near the door, to just check your outfit before you get going for whatever you're doing for the day. 
Um, this mirror surprisingly was not very expensive. I think it was like 160 something dollars, which was a huge plus point for me because I looked at so many different companies that had beautiful, beautiful mirrors and they were like $600, $700, which, you know, if you want to splurge on and spend that money, I'm all for it. But for me, for my first house, I just couldn't loosen the purse strings for just a mirror. So I'm so happy I found this. It also matches the theme of the place really, really nicely and has this like sundial details on the side, which I just really, really loved. And it was a bit strange to have, you know, three dr a dresser in your living room. And we actually debated a lot about this, but we ended up deciding to go with this one because we really, really liked how the herringbone design matched the herringbone design on the dining table and the gold also matched the gold legs and just kind of fit in really, really nicely. These are from 42. I love this painting. I was going to put it in the bathroom, but then when it was delivered, I was like, nah, <laughs> it's staying out here. This actually is super cute. I actually made this with my sisters. I think it was just like a random sister day that we had. We went to this workshop by Chokma and we made this Jesmonite coaster ourselves and so all of ours look kind of different. Um, I know my big sister, hers is yellow and me and my other sisters have like kind of similar color palettes but it is so nice. Like I love just having something that you made with your own hands. You know, we've got the painting, we've got this and so it's just a nice little piece of decor to have in your house. Okay, so if you take one step this way, we are now in the living room. This was the first room that I uh, did this like reel about on Instagram and I think it got my friends really excited when they saw it because it was a very different kind of, I think it's a different kind of decor. I feel like a lot of times nowadays people like to go for the Scandinavian look which is beautiful, you know, it's minimalist, it's clean, but um, I guess the theme of the decor for our place is really closest to what's called mid-century modern. We just wanted it to be more warm, to be more cozy, and so we focus a lot more on blacks, a lot more on darker leather, darker woods, just to kind of create this contrast, especially because the walls and the floors were white. This is actually one of my favorite places of the entire house because I just like it's just crazy when I come in here and I see the whole vibe of everything. It just looks so nice and I feel so cozy immediately. Most of the furniture, the TV console, rug, and the couch are actually from Castlery. So if you guys don't know what Castlery is, I feel like almost everyone has a piece from Castlery in Singapore. It's actually a Singaporean company, if you can believe that. I, I didn't realize, I thought it was Australian or something. But they have really, really beautiful, modern, contemporary pieces that are also affordable. And so, of course, we had to give them, we had to pay their showroom a visit and we found this couch and completely fell in love with it. It's called the Isaac Reseater and the shade of brown for the leather was just perfect. I didn't know I'd be so picky about shade, but it actually worked really well with the other pieces of furniture that we got. But most importantly, it's scratch proof. So we actually tested it at the showroom and I scratched the out of it um, carefully at first to see if it was fine. And it is scratch proof, which is great because my big sister's little puppy, Riley, he's this corgi, he is so boisterous and so fun. That means he can come over and I don't have to worry about the couch, so that is a great point for me. I also really, really love the quilted detailing on the back, which I think just adds a little bit of sophistication to the whole look and just kind of, you know, adds a little bit of texture as well. And uh, yeah, we did like a whole bunch of sit tests just to see how it, how it would feel when we flop down after a busy day at work or yeah that kind of stuff and it all kind of worked out so it's a great couch one thing i do need to do though is learn how to take care of leather because the last thing i would want to happen is for it to start cracking or peeling don't think that would happen anytime soon but that is something that i need to learn how to do. When you're sitting on this beautiful couch, across from it is this gorgeous TV console. This TV console is actually called the Nigel TV console. It is also from Castlery and we really, really loved it, mostly because of how gorgeous the wood is, but also it's really cool because the inside of it is this gorgeous pop of red, which I really, really liked. I love the black steel legs and how airy it is underneath, which means you can keep it clean. I loved how low it was because that meant it would go really, really nicely with our TV. 
So our TV is actually from Prism. This is the QE 65 inch Pro. It is so, so good for such a good price. It's, I think it's 4K Dolby Vision. It's got Dolby Atmos, so if you don't have a sound bar, then it also creates this very cinema-like sound. But we did end up getting the sound bar as well. This is the Symphony sound bar. And this is super cool because it literally creates surround sound. So it's got three frontal speakers, two upward speakers, and two sideways speakers, which just creates this like, yeah, this like really, really nice surround sound. There's also an eight inch subwoofer. So this is an eight inch uh, wireless subwoofer and this creates like some mad bass, guys. It is really, really quite cool. I don't really know very many people who have Prism. I know they're super, super popular in Singapore, but amongst my friends, most of them have Sony or, or LG. And I think when they came to see the Prism, they were really, really impressed, which I mean, obviously, we would only pick good stuff, right? One of my friends did say, this is really cool. I actually got this tissue box off Shopee. I don't know, like three years ago, just because I wanted something that was like cool. So I just did some digging and I found it and I thought it was really funny. It's like an Easter Island head. Um, Easter Island, something that I learned in sixth grade. It's still with me now. This light is actually really cool as well. This light I got from 42. It like bounces off the wall and creates this really nice ambiance, especially because we're kind of pointing it towards the back of the TV. So it lights up this whole corner right here and when it's nighttime, it creates a really, really nice cozy vibe. And uh, this is great. There's also a floor length version, which we initially wanted, but they didn't have it in stock. So we just went for the table lamp and it was a good buy anyway. This right here is also something that is kind of, you know, really cool that I liked. I went to this tasting at this amazing Chinese restaurant. The restaurant is called Eclipse. And this was something that they actually custom made for their appetizers. It's like a little meteorite, which I think is so cool, but it opens up. And inside, we have our bounce back, which if you guys don't know, they're anti-hangover pills. <laughs> We're old now, so we can't do hangovers anymore. So we need our bounce back. This right here is another thing that I never expected to have in my, own, in my first home. This is a wine cooler. We actually got this from Cheese Mom, had this in her storeroom. It was literally just a shelf for some Photo, fr photo frames or whatever, so she wasn't using it, so she very kindly let us have it in our place, which she was more than happy to take off her hands. Currently though, inside there is no wine. I think we drank it all. There's only soju and some gin. <laughs> so one final thing from Castlery in this whole living room setup is actually this rug. This is the jute rug, which is something different as well. I think I had to do a little bit of convincing for Chi because he wanted to have something that was fluffier, something that was softer, but I loved having this like play on textures, especially because the veneer for the console is smooth, the leather for the couch is smooth, so I wanted something to add just that little, little oomph to the living room, and I thought this rug did just that. This rug from Cassery is also hand-woven. I really, really love the texture. It is kind of a controversial piece, though, because some friends came in and they're like, oh, it's not fluffy, it's not soft, but I actually really like the texture of it. It's really durable, it's not at all scratchy, even if you were to walk on it with bare feet, it doesn't like get itchy. You know, there are some jute rugs that you can sit on that kind of get itchy if you sit on it with like, you know, shorts and your legs are exposed, but this doesn't have that at all, so that's why I love it. Finally, this is our coffee table. I did do a little reel about this and a lot of people were asking me about it. It is super cool. It is the Donati coffee table from 42. And as soon as she saw it, he was like, this is the coffee table we need. We have to have it. For me, I just like the fact that it was round because everything is very square in here. So I thought having, it, having a square or a rectangular coffee table would just have too many corners. Don't know if you guys think about that, but that's what I thought about. Um, but this coffee table is super cool because it's multifunctional. So you can actually lift up the top and reveal a hidden storage space. Currently, there's only one magazine in here. Check it out. That's Riley. Look how cute! He's so cute! love it. So this little drawer is for our cards, our games, our remotes, whatever it is that we might need whenever we have people over. 
One thing about this table though, as much as I love it, is that the top is made of neared plywood or something. It was coated, it was matte, which was really, really nice, but it did get damaged within the first week, so there was like a little hole in it. Um, so we ended up finding a contractor to get us to custom make a glass top for both of the tabletops, just because we really, really love it and we wanted to not damage it within, you know, the first month of living here and we failed at that because it got damaged on like day five. So this is actually a mini electric standing table. I got this one off of 42. It's like a baby version of the one that's in the office, which I'll show you guys later. But yeah, it can basically stand up as, I mean, I think it goes to my hip height, which is really, really great. Um, but currently we're using it as like a side table for our couch. Sometimes when I do feel like working on the couch, I can just swivel it over, which is really nice. This lamp is this nice floor lamp that we got from Hitvan. It was only $99, but it looks like it's way more expensive than that, which I love. And this plant, it is fake. <laughs> I am not, I love plants. I am not confident enough to have a plant this big that's real just yet. Check back in with me and maybe in like six months, I might be better at you know taking care of plants, but for now, we got this fake plant, which honestly, I think there's no shame in getting fake plants. Like, it's nice to have a pop of color, some green in your living room, so why not get fake plants if you actually really want them? This one is from 42. It is great. No one can tell that it's fake until I tell them. Now you guys know because you are special. Okay, so here's the balcony. Let's go outside. One thing we really loved about this place was how spacious the balcony was. Obviously, you can see there's so much space here, which is really nice. Um, some people might think that it's kind of a waste of floor space, but I felt like the space for the living room, the dining room, and the balcony were, were actually quite nice and evenly matched, and I don't necessarily need a ginormous living room, so it's nice to have this little outdoor space. We ended up getting this set this big sofa, this coffee table, and those two small sofas from Hip Van for a really, really good price. It was on sale, I think, and so she was like, Amy, we need to get it straight away. All four pieces, all together, were like $297, which is just insane. Like, I was like, how is it possibly so cheap? But it was on there, they were having a sale at that time, so we were like, okay, we put in the order straight away. Um, this cocoon swing chair is something else that I got from 42 that I really, really love. I knew my sisters would love it. I knew that they would definitely want to come over and take lots of pictures on my balcony, which, you know, why not? Because it's nice and bright up here, and since we're so high up, it's also usually kind of breezy. This thing is something else that is really, really cool. This, oh my god, I'll tell you, this took us like two months to get because every seller that we approached to try and buy this either said it was out of stock or it was not going to be ordered because they were discontinuing it or the shipping was $200 and we were not going to pay $200 just to get it shipped over here. So eventually I did find a seller on Carousel that was making orders from this brand. It's a US brand called Keeter. This basically looks like a normal coffee table, but it's not. Check it out actually a cooler inside so you can actually fit I don't know 70 something cans inside and you can put ice and everything there's like a drainage hole underneath for you to drain the water out and this actually can lock up this way so it acts as a table while having access to drinks underneath so of course we had to have it for our balcony because this is basically where we're gonna be hosting all of our friends and yeah this is an amazing find Personally, for me, I feel like what's missing from the balcony is just some more plants, so I'm still in the process of getting those. Probably gonna get like a leafy plant or like something that needs to, something that's able to withstand strong sunlight because the sun rises from that side and sets on this side. So it's actually super, super gorgeous, um, really nice and warm. And I just, I love having, I just love having sun. I love having light. So that was really, really important to me. And the view for this is actually really, really amazing. I don't know about you, but I love, I don't actually mind having this building here because it kind of splits the view in two, but I love being able to see just the rest of Singapore this way. Malaysia is down that way. 
and when the sun sets on this side, Chi and I have just sat on this couch and we're just like, the first, I remember the first week we moved in and we sat out here for the sunset, we were just like, I can't believe <laughs> we live here. So it's great. This is our balcony. We can host, I think maybe like eight or 10 people. Might need to get some more stools if we're gonna be hosting more people than that, but I don't have that many friends, so I don't think we will, so we'll see. Anyway, let's go back inside. So one change we actually made to the place was the lights up top. When we first moved in, the lights were all these super bright fluorescent blue lights. I felt like I lived in a hospital, so I was like, please, can we please change the lights? So we actually ended up getting these tricolor, I don't know, LED lights or something, but it's kind of cool because if you want to look up, you can actually change the color, which is great. So yeah, just a little, tiny little detail that we changed for pretty much the whole place that I really love. So before I show you guys the rest of the house, um, the whole process of getting all the castle furniture in, all the living room furniture was actually really, really fun. Everything kind of came in in little bits and pieces, which was a bit strange. Whenever I've moved my family, everything has always been in all at the same time. So at one point we didn't have our couch yet, so we were just eating dinner <laughs> on the floor, which, you know, it's fine. We actually ended up using Canva, and I know there's all these other apps that you can use, but we ended up using Canva to kind of get pictures of all the items and put them next to each other just to see how they would look. But I think for us, what really worked well, especially with the whole living room setup, was to have a color scheme or a color palette in mind. So for us, it's, I mean, it's quite obvious, it's, you know, darker browns, blacks, maybe pops of color like green or yellow. And so keeping everything kind of nice and simple by just keeping to a couple colors made everything come together really nicely, I think. And it all kind of all works together with the same theme of mid-century modern, which, yeah, I just, I really, really love. All right, let's see the rest of the house. So first room, in here this is the office this is basically mostly cheese i would say it's actually supposed to be the most manly part of the house but we're still working on it it obviously has this really beautiful girly dresser which came from my old room spent a lot of money on this i just got it from ikea but i thought it was really really beautiful so i was like i need to bring this with me and also i just have too much stuff so i need it this table right here this is the airy standing desk it's from royal ergonomics which is great we were looking at omni desk and like other standing desk options but i actually really really like this one because not only is it a standing desk which everyone wants to have nowadays, but it also has a drawer, which is very, you know, very convenient. And it's also got these charging ports. So there's USB ports and a USB-C port here, which just adds a little bit of, you know, convenience. And I thought that was something that was missing from a lot of other standing desks, so I really liked how this one had this. My brother-in-law actually came to see the place uh, quite early on and he saw this desk. And then, I'm not even kidding, two days later, he was like, oh, so I got one. I was like, great. He really, really liked the size. I liked how the corners were rounded. So this was just perfect. So the desk actually has four programmable buttons, which is nice. You know, there's four preset settings that you can do. So she's in Seattle right now. I realized he never let me program the desk for when he's away. So I'm gonna do that while he's not here. Um, the desk actually, we ended up getting this light colored wood, um, but then we also got this Napa leather, it's like a magnetic leather, I don't know, table cover, what would you call it? And uh, I think it turned out really nice, you know, it's super, super soft. The leather for this chair is also Napa leather, which means it does need a bit of upkeep, but no worries, we are adults, we can do it. <laughs> this chair is also um, from Royal Ergonomics. We actually had it custom made, which is really nice. This is Chi's chair, so he got to design it. My chair is still at my own house. I was thinking about bringing it over, but since we have the dresser in here, we don't really have space to put a second desk, so I might just leave mine for my sister to use in my old house. 
but she's so lucky she gets to use my nice chair. She actually picked the colors. He loves Arsenal and he actually also got an embroidery behind, which is a little dorky, but I love it. Thunder Mifflin from The Office. If you guys haven't seen it, please go watch it. It's really funny. For the rest of The Office, I think what we're thinking about doing to kind of make it a little bit more manly <laughs> is to have a wall mounted cabinet on top. I'm thinking about getting one that's not not so big just to have like some you know like the camera pieces or like other kind of office equipment inside and I'm thinking about having black frosted glass put on on the front as well just to darken up the place because so far everything has been I mean you'll see the master bedroom is like pretty girly so I wanted the space to be more comfortable for Chi have a little bit more dark dark tones another thing that I thought about doing though is maybe even adding some black cardboard paper like slot it underneath this glass here just so that the surface would be black. Haven't quite decided on whether or not I was going to do that yet but I guess you guys can check back in in a few months and see if I actually went through with it. But yeah I think about getting a wall mounted cabinet or maybe putting a black shelf along the bay window here just to make use of the space. This is a really cool thing because this was something that Chi got for Christmas last year I believe from my dad. It is a automatic watch winder. So a lot of his nice watches are not in here at the moment, but he is a watch fanatic. He loves, loves watches. So we also got these dual monitor arms, which we still have yet to install, but basically this whole setup will be our laptop or cheese laptop and two whole monitors. And to go along with the whole standing desk feature, we also got this mat. It is a ginormous mat but basically it's supposed to help relieve any fatigue from you know your joints when you stand I guess. The only thing is it's like super wide so I guess you have to just do like power poses when you're standing which you know why not as well. Um, so yeah those are our desk features which are kind of cool and I like them. Across the hall from here this is the common bathroom. We never use this because we got the master bathroom, but I loved how spacious it was. It's also really, really bright. And since I have my sisters coming over all the time, I'm sure I wanted to make sure that if they were to use the pool downstairs or if we were to come back from spin or the gym or whatever, that they had a nice, comfortable space to get ready. So I just loved how bright and airy the bathroom was. This is like a planet planter that I got from this local company that I found on Instagram called Root Huggers. I actually recently tried to find more of their stuff, but I don't know if they're still operating, but I'm just really glad that I managed to get this one because I thought it was really, really cute. Welcome to the master bedroom, the girliest part of the house because most of my stuff is in here. The bed frame and the side table are both from Hitvan. If I'm not wrong, the name of this range is called Leland. And I bought this bed frame, I think about a year and a half ago when I was still living with my mom. And so I made sure we had to bring it over, even though it is the lightest color of wood that you're gonna find in this place. But I really liked it. It is acacia wood, which is nice. And it's got this like distressed like pattern, which I just thought made it look really, really interesting and really unique. So I had to have it. The side table also matches really well. On that side of the bed though, because of the way that this room is structured, we couldn't put the bed too far forward this way because the door wouldn't be able to close. So we actually could only have one side table. So she sleeps on this side, I sleep on that side. So my side table is actually on the bay window over there. So on the bay window side, I actually have this really nice um, line drawing that my sister Ella actually gave me for my birthday and I thought it was really cool because it looks like modeling and also she drew it herself on just like just like one simple line. She's so talented. I'm really really glad she gave this to me for my birthday so this is like in my little aesthetic corner right here. I also have this really cool light. This is from the brand Concept which I got off Hitman. It's really cool because it actually can, I mean, it can dim. Actually, now that I'm saying it, I feel like it's not as cool as I thought it was before, but it's a nice night light. You know, she's in Seattle right now and I'm here by myself, so I sleep with a night light. This little coaster, I actually asked um, this girl from this brand called Sane Coast. She's just this one girl who has her own resin 
company and uh, I saw she was starting out and so I asked her if she could make this custom piece for me because I thought her stuff was super, super beautiful. So she made this for me and um, I got it during COVID, I think during lockdown. So it is one of the staple pieces in my house. I really like finding local you know, talents in Singapore because I think, you know, in Singapore, we love to get stuff from overseas and we love to have a lot of international influence and everything, but there's actually a lot of talent, a lot of great artists in Singapore that are just not getting a lot of attention. So if you guys want to check her out, same coast on Instagram, she is really, really talented. I gotta tell you, like there are so many bay windows in this house. I don't really get it because personally, it's not my favorite. I'd rather have a side table than a fake side table on a bay window. So since this is a rental, I couldn't really do anything about it, but if it were up to me, I just don't think I would have any bay windows. But we work with what we got. So on this bay window, I actually found this awesome makeup dresser from 42, and it was so perfect to make use of this space. It fits so nicely, and it just looks super, super cute. So this is like my little makeup corner. This little seat cushion is from Hitman. Um, the only thing with this though is that the light comes from the side so it's not super evenly spread across the face which if you're a girl putting on makeup you can you you can you probably know what I'm talking about I actually got these little strip lights they're like LED strip lights from Shopee and I'm gonna be installing them around here just so that I can be able to see what makeup I'm putting on a little bit more clearly so yeah this is the Lolita dresser table from 42 one of my favorite things that I had to have in this house. Moving on, over here on this side table, this is another thing that I thought was really cool. This is a candle lamp. It basically heats up whatever candle you put underneath. So whatever scent that you have gets dissipated without having you know, an actual flame. So in Chi's mom's place, his storeroom actually had a pretty bad electrical fire. So he's kind of, definitely not into candles anymore. So we really liked having this because it acts as like a side table lamp as well as a nice like candle scent thrower, which is great. And also if you notice your candles, like we've been using this for a month and our candle hasn't gone down. So basically it just changes the state of your candle without actually burning it away, which is cool. And this candle is from A Thing of Sense, another local brand, which I love. Dream, my favorite. Mm. Over here, Another fake plant, proudly so. This is like a bamboo plant because I wanted to have a, a bit of an oriental kind of influence in the in the room and also it goes really nicely with the wood and the white walls. So she picked this, so I thought it was really nice. We also have an Iyuga wireless standing fan. I did make a video about this and I thought it was so, so cool. We had it for about I think a day before I was already like, it has already proven to be worth its price because I was setting up the shoe cabinet in the bomb shelter and it was so, so stuffy and so hot in there. So I just unplugged this and I brought it into the bomb shelter and it was so nice and windy and comfortable. The wind power is actually really, really strong. It's super quiet. On a full charge, it can last about six to eight hours. Um, we actually bring this out on the balcony a lot whenever we're hosting our friends just so that we can have a little bit of an extra breeze and be a little bit more comfortable. So this is honestly a really, really great buy and we really like one. I think we're gonna get a second one so we can have two fans on the balcony just making sure we're nice and breezy. Over here, this is like my fake walk-in wardrobe almost. My stuff is in this wardrobe. There's another wardrobe in the office and that is all for Chi so you can put whatever he has in it. He's filled like half of it. He doesn't have anything. Mine's like totally full. Why, why am I so materialistic? Over here, we have yet another bay window. Why? I don't know why. That's like four bay windows in this two bed apartment. So I wanted to figure out a solution to utilize this space without it just having something to display, you know, my jewelry or display something. So I actually ended up getting this cabinet from Ikea. It's the best die cabinet, if I'm not wrong. I splurged a little on the doors and I got these nice wooden doors. But inside, it actually holds all my bags, which is great because that means I don't have to shove my bags all in here. Above that, I do have all of my uh, jewelry and some of my favorite perfumes. And on the side over here, I have these little acrylic 
some glass drawers, which I think are really, really nice. And it just works really well, I feel, because it really does utilize the space vertically a bit more without actually blocking out too much of the light. Yeah, it does get really, really sunny, so actually in this area, I get pretty hot, but no worries, I got my fan right there. All right, so that is the master bedroom. Now we're heading into the master bathroom. So one little detail that I like is that this is a sliding door, so it actually doesn't take up any space here or back here. Just a little detail that I have. I think when we do end up buying our own house, I probably will install a couple more sliding doors just because safe space, why not, right? Um, I do have this shelf that is really funny because I did not measure this wall and I did not measure my shelf before we actually had the movers come in here. So I remember kind of low-key panicking when they were moving it in here, but it actually fits like literally perfectly. So, you know, sometimes you don't need to plan. Sometimes things just work out on their own. This right here, this is super cute. It is a butt pot. <laughs> I also got this from Root Huggers and uh, it is one of my favorite bases that I've got because I don't know, it's super, super cute. I did get this during COVID and my mom really liked it. And I have, I obviously had it in my bathroom when I was living with my mom. And so she knew that I was gonna take it. So when I did take it, she was like, can you get me one because she really likes it. So I'm on a mission to find another butt pot. Um, could not find it on Root Huggers anymore. So if any of you guys know any you know, ceramics that do make butt pots, let me know. I'm not talented enough to make a pot like this by myself. I learned how to roll my towels as if we're in a hotel. My sister and my brother-in-law, they were shocked when I showed them. They were like, who is this? But yeah, if you guys want to learn how to roll your towels, I literally saw it on TikTok and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try. And it looks hella nice. Like everything looks really, really nice and organized and it's no longer in like a pile for you to kind of dig through. So if you guys wanna learn, let me know. Maybe I'll make a video about it too. So over here, this is obviously the sink area. We got a really, really nice big mirror, which, check it out, huge. It's got all of my skincare. Everything is mine. Actually, yeah, nothing of cheese is here because he's taken everything to go to Seattle. He's got like three things. He doesn't even use moisturizer. I mean, I have to like attack him with moisturizer to get him to use it, but. This is great because I am low-key obsessed with skincare, so I get to feed my obsession with this ginormous mirror. The shower is also really, really big and spacious, which I really love. And it's also got the shower head and the rain shower. I never used to care for rain showers, but after this, I kind of like them. So that is all guys that is my very first house tour i hope you guys found it interesting and i hope you guys liked some of the pieces that i got because i'm so in love with every single piece that we ended up getting um, once again the links for everything is going to be in the description box below so if you want to go check out anything or you want to get something for your own room or dining room living room whatever go ahead and check it out because the items are honestly so so gorgeous and i can't even imagine having something that's like different from what we actually ended up getting. I just feel super, super lucky to be able to embark on this new chapter in my life with my boyfriend. Hope you guys found this house tour interesting. If you did like this video, do give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post any new videos. And I will see you at the next one. Bye.